this is Beth from Midland Spine. Um, today I'm going to be showing you my take on the Northern Lights Cup. This is done tacket method. This is a super easy method, super quick method, and it produces beautiful results. This has actually become one of my favorite cups. So in order to make this cup, you're gonna start out with your stainless steel tumbler. Um, prep is important, so you always want to sand your cup. I use 240 grit sandpaper. You wanna sand it really good, and once you're done sanding, you want to wash it with Dawn dish soap. Um, wash it really good, get all the sand, um, the dust and stuff off from where you sanded, and then you wanna let it dry. Then you wanna take and you wanna hit it with some black flat or matte primer or paint. I use the Rust-Oleum 2X paint and primer. Um, I use the black and the white on all of my cups simply because it's, um, I don't get any runs. Um, it dries super quick and it allows me to get a bunch of cups done at one time. Um, so that's what I use. You're gonna need Aline's Tacket over and over. We are going to dilute this. I already have my mixture diluted. You want to mix 15 mLs of Tacket with 7.5 mLs of water. Um, you want to pour it in a cup and you want a pretty runny consistency. Um, you're going to need a paintbrush to apply this. Um, you're going to need your stencil. This is just one that um, I found off of Google. You want a stencil to put at the bottom of your cup. It doesn't matter what color you use. You can use cheap vinyl, removable vinyl. It doesn't matter. And then you're going to need your glitter. So I have a holographic gold. Um, I'm not quite sure where this is from. It was in a bag that didn't have a label. Um, I have a holographic green. This is Head Clover Heels from Bougie Panda. I have a lighter color green. This is Low Rider from Madam Glitter. Uh, I have a blue. This is Dubai from Bougie Panda. I have a purple, a holographic purple. This is Exotic Berry from Madam Glitter. And this isn't really a holographic, but it is a color shift. It's really, really pretty. This is called Tafiti, and this is from Madam Glitter. Um, so these are the colors that I'm gonna be using. I will also include a link um, in the description below where you can find um, all of these gorgeous glitters. So I think that's it, so let's get started. Hey guys, all right, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna start out by applying our stencil. What I like to do is I like to cut my stencil in half so I make sure I don't have any wrinkles or pieces that stick up. So I pick a spot um, on my stencil that's fairly easy to cut. So I am going to start right here and I'm gonna cut this with my razor blade. I'm just gonna cut it right down and split these kind of down the middle. So I have two parts. Um, I am going to start with this one and we're going to just apply it to the bottom of the cup. It doesn't matter if it's perfectly straight. We're just using it as a stencil. I'm just gonna roll my cup around. It doesn't matter if the bottom's even or not because this is essentially gonna be spray paint. So we're just gonna peel this off. Um, the transfer tape that I use is from Expressions Vinyl. Uh, I love, love this transfer tape. I'll actually um, put a link down in the description below. Um, I use the opaque. I've used this since I began crafting. It's super easy to work with doesn't leave behind any kind of sticky residue. Okay. Then we're gonna take and we're gonna just match this up and apply our 
second layer. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, it's just we're going to remove this anyway. So we're just going to go around the cup. It, this does not matter. Do not. I know I'm OCD. And if I see this, I freak out. Don't worry about it. We just want the trees. That's all we want is the tree line. Don't care about wrinkles. Don't care about bubbles. Don't care about any of that. Now, the next step that you want to do is go ahead and make sure um, Tacket solution. Um, again, I do dilute mine, so I do 15 mLs of Tacket and 7.5 mLs of water. You're going to need a paintbrush, and we'll get started with the Tacket. All right, so I'm going to be using this uh, one-inch brush from Walmart. Um, I feel like it gets really good coverage and I can get more coverage, coverage quicker. Uh, you're also going to want your heat gun. Not that it's required. You can let the tacket dry on its own. But for the sake of this video, I will use the heat gun to speed things up. So what you want to do is you want to start by applying your tacket. Um, you're just going to... We're not going to the bottom of the cup. We just want to get all of these little um, inner pieces really, really good. a piece of my brush so you want to get those really really good You don't want to go too heavy-handed, um, especially in the little crevices of the tree line, because when you go to rub it, if it's not completely dry, it will pull up. You don't want that. You want it to stay. You want the glitter to stay on the cup. And we're actually going to do two coats of this before we apply our glitter. So I'm just making sure I'm getting all the way up to the edge of the cup. You want to make sure you get, you know, up right up to the rim. And that's it. And I am going to hit this with the heat gun off camera because it's really loud. And then I'll be right back. So I'm going to use one of these little finger cots. Um, you can get these off of Amazon. Um, you just slide it on your finger. I feel like doing this, it gives better grip when you're going in circles. Um, so we're going to start with our gold. I want the gold around the bottom of the tree line. Okay. Now when we first start, we're not going to go heavy handed. We're just going to do a light tap around the bottom. Uh, it's probably not a good angle where you can see. So we just want a light tap around the tree line. We'll go back in and um, fill it in a little bit heavier. Right now we're just kind of marking where we're going to drop everything. You see I'm 
if you guys are wondering what that noise is in the background, it is pouring rain here. All right, so I pretty much have my gold laid out. And I just want to sprinkle a little bit. I want to kind of come up high. Maybe if I turn this way, you guys can see better. I want to come up high and just let it fall a little bit, sort of like an ombre, um, so we don't have such a harsh line of the gold. I am not going to change my paper. Um because I'll use this mixture. So the next colors is completely up to you. You can start with the blue, you can start with the green, you can start with whatever color you want. The main thing for me was to get the tree line gold. So I'm gonna just start by dumping some green. Let's see. I'm trying to get it where you guys can see really good. I'm just gonna come up high and start dumping some green. Uh, this is low rider from Madam Glitter. And I'm just gonna dump it in random spots. No rhyme or reason. And then I'm gonna grab my purple, which is Exotic Berry from Madam Glitter. And I'm just going to dump it wherever. I'm gonna take the the teal color, which is Dubai from Bougie Panda. And I'm just gonna dump it in random spots. And then I'm gonna take um, the darker green, which is um, Head Clover Heels from Bougie Panda. I'm just gonna dump it. Then I'm gonna take Tafiti, which is not a holographic glitter, but it is a color shift and it's really pretty. So I'm just gonna fill the rest of my spots in with this one. This shifts from like a blue to a green. Super, super pretty. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in and go really heavy handed on the gold. Um, and I'm just gonna try to like ombre it a little bit um, where it kind of just falls. So we just sort of mapped out where we wanted our colors. It doesn't matter if the gold falls um, into the other colors, it really doesn't matter. So now we're gonna go back in with our purple. I'm not going in the same spots that I did before. That's what makes this cup great. You can do whatever you want. Just pick up random colors and sprinkle them everywhere. Get some purple up here. Need some blue. Make sure you get the top. Um, you could even throw in a pink holographic. You could throw in, really, whatever colors you wanted. Holographics work the best. So it's almost like we're just layering colors um, over and over. We'll let some of that blue fall down. All right, so once your cup is fully coated, I'm going to take this mixture um, I love putting my glitters in cups. It just gives me more control. I'm going to dump this in here. 
which I think is a gorgeous mix with all of those pretty colors together. I'm just going to, let me see if I can find something to stir this with. I'm just gonna stir this around. Look how pretty that is. The camera probably doesn't pick that up, but it's a really, really pretty mix. It's like all the colors just combined. And I'm not gonna use all of it. I'm just gonna sprinkle some over the cup. So this has got gold and purple and blue and green. It's got all the colors mixed in. So now what we're gonna do is in a circular motion with our finger, we're gonna start rubbing the glitter in, okay? So we're just gonna come here and just start rubbing the glitter off. All the way up to the top. I don't pull the stencil until I'm done. And you'll tell that you have all the glitter off because it'll be smooth. It won't be, there won't be any rough patches. Some people do this with their bare finger, but I prefer a glove or a cot. Because it will be hard to get off. We'll go back over it. Um, once we get all of this pushed into the tacket, we'll go back over it and just smooth the rest of it out. It's a good arm workout. And this is our last little strip. Now, what I like to do, because we have all the glitter smushed in, look how pretty that is, and we're not even done yet. I'm just going to dump this into my mix cup. Then I'm just going to kind of let the cup rest and then I'm just going to get the rest of it off. I guess this could be considered like a Northern Lights cheat cup. Because <laughs> I'm not really good at dropping the glitter and to me this just looks... Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to go around the, the edge of the cup just with my finger and make sure I get all the glitter off of there. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to um, pull our stencil. If I can move this out of the way. We're gonna pull our stencil. So I'm gonna find down here at the bottom where I connected the two. And I'm just gonna pull it off. 
Um, when you spray paint your cup, I believe it's best to let it sit overnight. Um, just so when you go to um, apply your decal or stencil or whatever, it doesn't um, peel the paint up. So there was the first half of our stencil. Now we're gonna remove the second half. Almost done. And there you have it. The Northern Lights Tacket Cup. So now what I'll do is I'll let this sit. Um, I'm not going to seal it. Um, you can take your um, finger and rub back over it. I just made a mess. Rub back over it. Sometimes with a regular finger you can, you know, without without a glove on you can feel any rough spots. Um, just kind of clean it up a little bit. And then I will just take a brush a makeup brush or just and just brush 
the excess glitter off the bottom. Um, I do seal this with Rust-Oleum gloss. I do seal it because on the off chance that um, I had some loose glitter, I don't want it down here on the black because this is spray paint and it's going to show every little fleck of glitter there is. So if you just take your brush and brush all of this off and then spray it with clear coat, then it'll be ready for epoxy. Isn't that pretty? So I hope this video was helpful. I hope that now you can do your Northern Lights cup. You see how we did it the same way and it looks completely different. Um, but there you have it. So no two will be the same. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. Um, make sure that you like this video if it was helpful. Um, and make sure that you're subscribed to our channel so you don't miss anything. Um, we're trying our best to add more content. We've just been super, super busy. Um, but I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all.